Is this thing on? Is it operative? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, my dears? This is the doctor. Calling the doctor. I need your help. Can any of you hear me? Oh, dear, Jamie, this is unusual. Ah, I'm speaking to you over the TARDIS telepathic circuits. Yes, and you're coming through loud and clear. On Sergeant Benton's Bunsen burner here in the unit laboratory. How delightful. Benton's Bunsen, Benton's Bunsen, Benton's Bunsen, Benton's ah, Bunsen. I see it's you. Still now the grown-ups are here. I'll best leave it to us, old chap. Haven't you got a kazoo you can play with? A kazoo? We'll have a lovely yo-yo you can borrow. Hmm? At least it's silent. But my dear chap, you're my replacement. All teeth and curls. Looks like somebody knitted the rings of Saturn and draped them around your shoulders. Tell me, why have you crossed the void beyond the mind? Because I'm trapped. Trapped in the TARDIS on my own. No Romana. No K-9. Just me. And I can't get out. Have you checked the fluid links? Are you all right for emergency oxygen? Listen, things are graver than you can possibly imagine. We are taking things seriously. Oh, better than being childish. Childish? We are all in very great danger. Chesterton, what have you done? There's a lot of voices coming from the TARDIS food machine. Dear me, I wonder if it's the light program. No crumbs, we're for it now. Perhaps you should lower your voice, my dear fellow. Oh, he's nothing to be afraid of, hmm? Are you, you old sly boots? It might, just might be Muffin the Mule. Uh, all I wanted were pilchers and a poached egg. Oh, some corners of the universe have bred the most terrible things. I think he's gone. Tegan, Tegan, is all this you're doing? Another one? Look, listen to me, young man. We were just sorting it out between ourselves. Now, there's really no need for any of your help. Oh, no. What's happening? Let me catch you it out. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. As I keep having to explain, I need the help of any doctor who is out there. Desperately. Or the consequences will be incalculable. And your call is reaching out across the timelines. As, uh... Well, you know. Yes. There must be an off switch around here somewhere. I see. Tegan, Tegan, would you fetch some pineapple? Well, I have to say, this is not what I was expecting when I activated the TARDIS tuner. I'm trapped in the TARDIS and my only hope is for you to concentrate. Focus on my voice, doctors. Doctors. Hello, hello, yes, what's that? What's that voice coming from the heart stand? Evil. Even from the dawn of time. Oh no, it's you. Yes. 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 What, another one? Ah. Uh, you see... Better let me explain, old chap. Look, you see, one of us has carelessly got himself stuck in the TARDIS. Needs our help. It never happened to me. Are you sure? Because I distinctly remember. Yes, and also that time uh, when... Well, let's let bygones be bygones, eh, shall we? What caused you to be stuck in the TARDIS? Well, that's precisely the thing. The TARDIS itself. No, that can't be right. I said it was the fluid links. Whatever it may be, the TARDIS won't let me leave. Sorry for butting in late, but could it be the Eye of Harmony? Mm, and now you? Look at all of you. Time Lords have many lives. And it was on the TARDIS scanner I first met them. I know. Fantastic. Ultimate chuckle vision. Or the crankies. Fair. Oh dear, I'm starting to feel giddy. What? What? I I'm sorry, but, um, what? New doctor, new phone, who this? Whoa. I know. I'm glad River isn't here. I can't tell you what she'd be thinking. Oi! This is a unique temporal metacollision and also, well, bit of a jumble. Tell me about it. I've seen less messy birthday parties at Burger Bars. That time I took Jane Austen. Rude. It was. Clara got banned. Clara? Oh. <sighs> Is this all of us? Hmm? There's one missing. Is there? Hello. You've reached the sixth doctor. I'm out of office dealing with something more important. If your intergalactic crisis is urgent, I will attend to it on my return. <sighs> okay, Boomer. He does know how these things work, doesn't he? No. 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 Dear, dear, dear. So, what's this urgent crisis about, eh? Because I want you out of my head, sunshine. 
I need the room. He's stuck in the TARDIS. Caught in a trap of pure evil. I'm afraid it's far more complicated. The planet Earth is also in terrible danger. The greatest peril in its history. Is it Tuesday? It sounds like a Tuesday. Oh, don't forget Saturdays. And Sundays now. Well, it happens on a Sunday as well now. Can you all hear me? I said that the Earth is in danger. And I think the TARDIS is being used. We have to stop it. Oh, my word. That is a big problem. <sighs> oh, well, I... Uh, <sighs> yes, all right. <laughs> Sorry, th this is serious. Seems so. Deadly serious. What? Well, uh, is it? Is he just... Sending pictures of cats, mm. yes. Really? I don't think he quite gets this. <clears throat> the Earth! Look, you're quite right. Everyone, we need to concentrate. I know things look bad. I remember a time when I was young. One bad grey day, I climbed up high on a hill to be alone, and I saw... A daisy, yes, we know, the daisiest daisy. I would have thought maybe the daddiest dandelion was more your style, perhaps. My dear fellow, may I remind you that you are wearing salad? Oh, all of this even makes me mistaken. Oh, Jack and Ace. Come on, there's no need to go. I There will be no battle here! Honestly, if I wanted to listen to a lot of men shouting, I'd go on the internet. Miss Wright? Can I borrow your cardigan? I need something to muffle this speaker with. Trapped in my TARDIS, planet Earth, doomed, doomed to the greatest peril in its history. Yes, yes, right, sorry. Uh, scarfy me. The Earth needs us. It always needs us. And we always answer that call. Even though arguing amongst ourselves is... Irresistible. We all do it so very well. Imagine if we were all trapped in the same TARDIS. Stacked together in the same room. Unable to leave. Hashtag Sassire. What's a hashtag? Are oh, you joking? Um, oh. So, what do we do? Oh, Lord <sighs> Christ. Oh, seriously. So, what's the sit rep? Sit rep? I can make it work. Can you, though? I got a message from Sarah. Sarah Jane Smith. Telling me the Earth is in danger. The humans are occupied by a terrible crisis. Vulnerable to an attack from beyond. As I went to help, something invaded the TARDIS. It's collapsing. It's becoming smaller on the inside. I shall be crushed into a singularity. And meanwhile, the Earth is helpless. My dear fellow, the solution is really quite simple. That we need to synchronize our time streams. Form two teams. Some of the more, um, oh, should we say reliable ones. And you can help me save the planet. And the others? Can work on stopping the TARDIS collapsing. It's a whimsical problem of dimensional engineering. Should be right up your alley. We get to pick teams? Capital suggestion. I'll take anyone not wearing a bow tie. Or a pullover. Bow ties are cool. So, I guess we Cape Crusaders get to go save the Earth. While we rescue our former self from a dying TARDIS. Simple. What a diabolical plan across dimensions. I'm in. You? You're totally on my team. We need to coordinate our arrival. I'll get on to Geneva, then you can set the TARDIS to rendezvous at Unit HQ. And, uh, <clears throat> if any of you have a spare dematerialization circuit you could lend me. Oh, that's rich. My dear fellow, when I went to the shop, the shelves were... Empty. How embarrassing. You two, I am definitely coming to your wedding. <coughs> Come. <laughs> Good grief. So, the rest of you... I propose we form a psychic link across the telepathic networks. We form a gestalt. A Siberian. A matrix. An information superhighway. <laughs> I think that's rather good. Allowing us to remotely regain control of the TARDIS. Hello again, sexy. Look at the round things. Oh, I love the round things. Look, you just need to reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. Save the Earth. Save the TARDIS. We're running out of time. Walls. Closing in. Already, I'm starting to feel sorry for Marmalade. 
Ooh, a deadline. Oh, fantastic. Should we get started then? Alonzi? Geronima! I'll get the spoons. Sorry I'm late, everyone. What have I missed? Oh, oh um, uh, um, uh, um, well, it's funny you should mention that, um, uh, The world is ending and my TARDIS needs saving, that is all. And are those some adorable pictures of cats? Not now, Time Gramps. We've got to get a move on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just take a moment. Yes, get your breath back. Probably had to come up some stairs. Good seeing you all. The Doctors. Working together to solve a problem. Warms the heart. Can you hear our irony? Definitely. The cats, though. <laughs> Charming, aren't they? Well, confirm the cats. If you like cats so much, I'll get you a hundred. I'll get you a thousand. Once this is all over. Don't trust him on that. It's just there's a different background to those cat pictures. Did any of you scan them? Well, no, not really. They're pictures of... of cats. They're location vectors, which I'm running through my TARDIS. Ah. Oh, that's so simple. Oh, oh, that's a lot. Oh, what's happening? What are you on about? Oh, and then? There. What? That was rather simple, actually. Those were the sites where the alien intended manifesting itself. So I simply uh, located my TARDIS at all of them, blocking them from arriving. Sorry, I'm so, so sorry, but what? I stopped the invasion. Oh. Blimey. Really? My dear chap, look, I've not even finished talking to Geneva. Oh, don't let me stop you. I was merely following the groundwork of whoever sent those pictures. Whichever of us it was, they've been remarkably clever. Ah, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well, 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 Young man, what are you doing in my TARDIS, eh? And what is the meaning of that outfit? Hmm? I just wanted to fix an extra button onto your console. A yellow one. There we go. Quite painless. Might come in useful someday. Don't thank me, because I know you won't. Goodbye. Where's he gone? What was all that about, eh? Most baffling. Oh, no, no, yes, no. Yes, no. I would realize. Let me see. <laughs> there we are. If you there wouldn't mind pushing the yellow button on the console that's been there all along, but you've never noticed. It'll flush the entity from the TARDIS's telepathic buffers. Oh, now that's marvellous. Bit of an... Anti-climax. You'll get used to them with age. <laughs> that's brilliant. I said I was busy. While you were flippity jibbiting I worked out what was going on. Are we to take it that you did this all by yourself? Well, not everything. You distracted the entity? Yes. Yes, distracted. What was it? Pan-dimensional entity from an ancient universe slipping into this one through the TARDIS's telepathic circuits. It was an evil from the dawn of time. Had we gone to Earth together? We'd have widened its power. I knew you would argue with each other long enough to give me time. Ah, oh, well, I must say, you've been terribly clever. I have, haven't I? Whatever. This has been an absolute success, fam. Fam? 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 Did she just say fam? Oh, fam. I like that. Fun. Well, this has been nice, but um, perhaps we should get on with our lives. Hmm? See you tomorrow. I've got date night. Ghosts. Chips. Endless war. Stoics. Evil. Adric's cooking. Goodbye, my dears. Till we meet again. I still say if you'd reverse. Bye bye. Good luck. Goodbye, doctors. You were brilliant. Is there no end to this gibberish? Ha! Huh. I found the circuit on the fault locator. Here we go.